You may think that viruses can only damage you. Let me ask you this question. Do you think a virus could ever be used to help you to regenerate parts of your heart or your brain? One of the big problems is how do you heal the body when it's damaged? Now you know when you get a cold sore on your lip, that's a virus called herpes simplex virus that creates that horrible cold sore. The nice thing about herpes simplex is that it lives in a little bundle of nerves just at the back here when you've got it. And then when you get run down, it sort of creeps down the nerves and comes out onto your lip and causes a bit of infection. It's great at traveling in nerves. So we use that property that it can travel in nerves to create a therapy. Now a virus is a big ring of DNA and we can take out the bits of it that make it infectious. And what we've found in our studies is when the brain starts to die, it gives out special proteins, special chemicals to try to heal it. And we found the DNA for those proteins and we insert that into the virus. So the virus, which will spread in nerves, inject it into the brain, it will spread beautifully throughout the brain. It's not infectious anymore. And it produces, instead of an infection, these brain-saving proteins, which can help to heal the brain. So viruses aren't always dangerous. Sometimes they can be used to heal tissue as well.